بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم محاضرتنا هذا اليوم في مادة الأورال سيرجري موضوع مهم هو كلينيكال دايجنوزيس أوف أورال مينيمنسي حقيقة الأورال مينيمنسي هي من الأمراض الشائعة والتي بعد البروغنوزيس بها كلش واسع إذا نبدأ الأورال مينيمنسي ونعرف شنو الأورال مينيمنسي where the term is cancer. Uh, definition of oral malignancy or definition of cancer is uncoordinated and uncontrolled growth of the tissue resulting from multiplication of its cell and the condition persists even after the stimulus or other initiating factor is removed. It then will abnormal growth, growth of cell that result in any tissue in the body. Hakika el oral cavity or the mouth have uh, divided to uh, many regions. We start from outside to inside from the lip as anterior region. At the side of the lip we have cheek and go inside the lower ridge and we have the tongue, roof of mouth, lower of mouth, and we have cerebral gland and we end in the posterior region. The pillar of the focus is the entrance to the pharynx. Uh, this figure shows the parts of the oral cavity. We start from the upper lip and lower lip, and the alveolar process, upper and lower alveolar process. We have the gingiva, and we have hard palate, and they have soft palate, and the tongue for the dorsal surface of the tongue and ventral surface of the tongue, and we have the floor of the mouth. The uh, Percentage of the occurrence of the uh, carcinoma in the oral cavity is uh, according to these figures. We have the most frequent malignancy uh, occur in lower lip, about 93%, and then the tongue, 35%, and then the floor of mouth, 30%, and then the lower alveoli, the 15%, and the vocal mucosa, 10%. And the upper lip loss and heart palate 8%, and upper lip 5%, and the commissure, the angle of mouth, and retromolar region 2%. We can see this is the most common uh, occurrence of malignancy in the lower lip due to its uh, trauma from the traumatic uh, subject or from the sun. The clinical examination done by a systemic way, there is little chance of malignancy lesion being overlooked. Hakika, oral malignancy is uh, very clear to the patient and can see it, but in, there are difficulties can only arise if the lesion is exceptionally small or if it lies in the an anatomical inaccessible area. Hakika, if a can lesion very small, or if a can in posterior area of the uh, oral cavity cannot see by the patient, so it is a very dangerous uh, malignancy. However, the diagnosis of malignant neoplasm arising within the mandible or maxilla is more difficult in the early stage of the disease. However, central uh, malignancy in the bone of maxilla or mandible is difficult because it's no any sign and symptom unless they are become very large or effect on the artery or nerve. This figure shows the site must be examined. We have eight step examination of the inside of the oral cavity. When we start to examination, we start from the uh, lip, upper and lower lip. We start the labial mucosa and start the labial gingiva and then go to vocal mucosa and then the vestibule of lower mucosa and the anterior uh, labial gingiva in lower mucosa, and we go to the heart palate, the roof of the mouth, and the tonsillar area, and then the vestibule, uh, ventral surface of the tongue, and the lateral border, and the dorsal surface of the tongue is the last test. That area we can examine it. Hi, Hakika, Mutahal no any abnormality in the region of this area. The etiological factor of malignancy. There are many etiological factors for malignancy. The most common one it is carcinogenesis. 
that have a P53 tumor suppressor gene mutation may have suppression. So the P53, there are no healing uh, process in the traumatic epithelium or any tissue, so no uh, replaced by the uh, normal tissue, so that lead to carcinoma. Viruses, we have many viruses that lead to a malignancy, like human papilloma virus, Epstein Barr virus. The smoking, the smoking is a very etiological factor for making a malignancy in the oral cavity. Alcohol, alcohol consumption, again, lead to have a malignancy in the oral cavity. We have a family history of first degree relative. حقيقة ال family history مهم إنه نتأكد إنه ما عدا أي مريض من من relative father mother brother sister or any one that have malignancy in the one member of the family. And the last one, molecular genetic regulation of cell cycle is under the control of over 14 genes, which include total oncogene and tumor suppressor gene. حقيقة أكو من يحفز على formation of cell أكو سوي suppression بحيث يكون normal condition of the tissue within its growth فإذا صار أي خلل من protop oncogene and suppressor gene أحد أدينا إلى المليمنس What is carcinogenesis? Carcinogenesis means is a multi-stage process which involves both the activation of auto-oncogene and inactivation of tumor suppressor gene, the DNA repair gene and apophyase gene. Hakika, hadi kul hat alag bil gene genes that affect on the growth of the cells and the tissue. We have many classification for malignancy. But the most common classification of malignancy in oral cavity depends on its origin, the tissue that forms the malignancy. We divide it to part, the epithelial uh, uh, tissue and non-epithelial tissue. For the epithelial tissue, we call it carcinoma, and the non-epithelial tissue called it sarcoma. We divide the uh, epithelial tissue carcinoma to primary and secondary carcinoma. The primary carcinoma uh, classified according to its of surface of gland, usually cerebral gland, rare inter bony of the jaw, central uh, uh, osteo uh, bony region arising in the cyst lining, and uh, thoromorphic carcinoma arising from residual osmic epithelium. And then, a from the surface, like the surface of the skin, surface of the gingiva, and other uh, mucosal surface. Uh, the oral cavity, or from the cerebral gland, the, uh, and or from uh, uh, central of the bone, maxilla and mandible, or from any linings of the cyst. We know that any cyst is epithelium, so may change to malignancy as carcinoma, or from residual osmotic epithelium, the remnant of the osmotic uh, cell that may change to carcinoma. The secondary carcinoma is uh, not a primary carcinoma. It's uh, centrally in the medullary cavity of the jaw bones uh, or on the surface of mucosa malignant cell from septum grafting on the uh, to raw area or in lymph node from head and neck primary region. And then not the primary region is the oral cavity, the secondary region, or call it metastasis. The other type of the malignancy is from non epithelial tissue, called it sarcoma. We have a primary sarcoma and a reticular sarcoma. The primary sarcoma centrally in the tissue, that in the jaw, osteogenic sarcoma, that a bone, uh, bony uh, uh, sarcoma, or reticular cell sarcoma, or even stone tumor, or lymphosarcoma, or uh, from the muscles that have. We have fibrosarcoma is from the uh, uh, smooth muscle or glyomyosarcoma, from skeletal muscle or rhabdomyosarcoma, from cardiac muscle. The second type is reticulous sarcoma. This reticulous sarcoma mainly in the cheek or centrally in the jaw or like 
Hodgkin disease or lymphomic, lymphomic deposits. This is reticulous sarcoma. The staging of malignancy. Why do we put a staging for malignancy? So the benefit of staging first planning therapy. Hakika li so planning malignancy disease had nahtaj ila so staging or assess staging ra so a treatment plan. Second, ato prognosis. The prognosis of any malignancy is determined at the stage of the malignancy. So one have uh, early prognosis, a uh, good prognosis in early stage of malignancy. There, we have a study with comparison of results uh, to uh, compare between each study from each area of the world by the staging of malignancy. And lastly, epidemiology, when you have a community, uh, 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 the uh, we can know how to have a malignancy large area, we have principle of staging. The classification of the uh, staging according to American Joint Committee on Cancer, call it ADCC, or Euro Union International Center on Cancer, uh, I mean or, or European uh, classification, and call it UICC. We have the uh, for staging. You must know the TNM system. The TNM system is based on the assessment of three components: what mean T and what mean N and what mean M. The T is the uh, extent of primary tumor. The primary tumor, a tumor, that has an half T. And N, the presence of absence and extent of regional lymph node metastasis. معنى أن نودز موجود أو عدم موجود لمفة نود متاسيسيس هو الأن and M the presence of absence of distance metastasis مين متاسيسيس هو حرف الأن فهذا هذا any متاسيسيس away from the primary region is متاسيسيس فهذا هذا عندنا three categories T and N and M categories We have two classification of TNM, amma clinical uh, TNM or pathological TNM. This t tumor site and lymphocyte and uh, metastasis according to clinical presentation and or according to pathological presentation in the slide, again, to have a T and N and M. We start for the T. The extent of primary tumor. So we have first TO when there is no evidence of primary tumor. Now for a tumor in the oral cavity. We go to TIS when the primary tumor is non invasive or carcinoma tumor. Site, so, yani, a tumor within the epithelium not extend to the base of the epithelial layer. We have a carcinoma in situ. And then TX. When a primary tumor cannot be assessed, حقيقة وجود تومر بس ما نقدر أن نشخصه صورة صحيحة سمي T X. And we start T one when the tumor two centimeter or less in the greatest dimension. حقيقة إذا كان the diameter of the tumor less than two centimeter هو سمي T one. T two tumor more than two centimeter but not more than four centimeter in the greatest dimension. حقيقة two two uh, range of diameter between 2 to 4 cm. T3, tumor more than 4 cm in greatest dimension. A, more, 5, 6, or more is all T3. T4, adjacent structure, example, so cortical bone, inferior nerve, door of mouth, skin of the face, uh, is invasion of the tumor to other structure, not related to the uh, original structure, but so the T4 Scared my the size of the uh, tumor in can uh, uh, one, two, three, or more. Uh, it has an invasion to the periosteum, or invasion to the artery, or invasion to the nerve. 
that all that call it T4. Now the end mean lymph node. Technical finding regarding regional cervical lymph adenopathy. We divide it to an O, no palpable adenopathy. We cannot palpate any enlargement of lymph node. And X, the node cannot assess it. We have lymph node enlargement, but we cannot feel it by your examination. N1 metastasis and single ipsilateral lymph node, 3 cm or less in later dimension. There are one or more uh, one uh, lymph node enlargement in a single uh, area in uh, uh, the lateral side of the face that is diameter less than 3 cm. And 2 divided to 3 section. And 2a metastasis in a single epsilateral lymph node more than 3 cm but not more than 6 cm in later dimension. Again, it's unilateral, a single uh, lymph node is arranged between uh, 3 cm to 6 cm in greater dimension. And to be metastasis in multiple epsilateral lymph nodes, not more than 6 cm in greater dimension. However, more than one lymph node enlargement in a unilateral area, but not more than 6 cm in greater dimension. And to see uh, metastasis in multiple bilateral or contralateral lateral lymph nodes, not more and 6 cm in later dimension. Hakika, it can more than single lymph node in uh, bilaterally or one uh, uh, side and the other, and other side, call it contralateral, that it is less, uh, not more than 6 cm in N2C. This is the N, N2A, N2B, and N2C. And we go to N3, is any lymphatic spread more than 6 cm in later dimension? If the uh, single or more than uh, 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 single lift node enlargement at its size more than 6 cm is bilateral, epsilateral, multilateral, uh, contralateral is not uh, important, but is the size of the lift node or lift node is more than 6 cm. The M means distance metastasis is indicated by two categories, MO, no distance metastasis, M1, presence distance metastasis, and subdivided to pulmonary uh, uh, metastasis or hepatic metastasis or brain metastasis. So have uh, either no metastasis or present metastasis in other organ or substructure in the body. This figure shows the uh, T, the size of the tumor and lymph node Metastasis. We said the first one is the carcinoma in situ, and then the T1 intramucosal that have no lymph node and O, and the T1 submucosal go to submucosal area, and the T2 the go submucosal area, and T3 and go to submucosal area, and we have lymph node enlargement in N1. When we have when go to other uh, substructures like artery or nerve or vein or periosteum, call it T4. This table shows the stage and the T side of the tumor and N, uh, N lymph node metastasis and the M distant metastasis. We have four stage. Stage O, we have T uh, I S carcinoma in situ. And we have no uh, lymph node metastasis and distant metastasis. Stage one, we have T1, mean the diameter of the uh, tumor, not more two centimeter. And again, we have no uh, lymph node metastasis and distant metastasis. Stage two, we have two, uh, T2, mean there are tumor size between two to four centimeter. And again, we have no lymph node metastasis and distant metastasis. Stage 3, we have uh, three categories. Either T3 means there are more than 4 cm in diameter and have no uh, lymph node metastasis or distant metastasis. Or T2, and we have lymph node 1 and no distant metastasis. Or T1, again, we have lymph node 1 or no, uh, and no distant metastasis.
antithesis. We go to stage 4. We divide it into three categories. The stage 4A, stage 4B, and stage 4C. Stage 4A divided into three categories. Either T4, mean we have involved other structure by human, and we have no uh, uh, lymph node metastasis and distance metastasis. Or T4, and we have lymph node 1 and no distance metastasis. Or any T, I mean T1, T2, T3, or T4 with uh, lymph node 2, and we have no uh, distance metastasis. And we go to uh, uh, stage 4b, we have any t, any stage of uh, uh, t, and we have any three lymph nodes, and we have no distance metastasis. And the most bad prognosis in uh, stage 4c, we have any t, we have any n, and we have distance metastasis in m1. Stage 4c, we have The risk factor for oral malignancy. The uh, mean, what's the uh, factor that have more uh, pregnant, uh, malignant tumor in the patient? First one and most common one is tobacco. Tobacco use account for most oral cancer. About 90% of people with oral cavity and oral pharyngeal cancer use tobacco. Smoking cigarette, cigars, or pipes using chewing tobacco and dipping snuff are linked to oral cancer. The use of other tobacco products as I fight and Rashex may also increase the risk of oral cancer. Heavy smokers who use tobacco for a long time are most at risk. The risk is even higher to for tobacco users who drink alcohol heavily. In fact, three out of four oral malignancy occur in people who use alcohol, tobacco, or both alcohol and tobacco. حقيقة التدخين من عوامل الرئيسية في الأورمانيسي لأنه مسببات السرطان فيها هواية ضمن الحرارة والكيميكال ريتيشن للجلوكوزا وأيضا الشغلات اللي تستعمل بالشوين مثلا النقاط وأي المركبات التي مخدرة أيضا تساعد على يكون الأورمانيسي شرب الخمر مع التدخين يزود نسبة الكانسر. The quitting tobacco reduces the risk of oral malignancy. Uh, also, quitting reduces the chance that a person who has oral malignancy will get a second cancer in the head at the age. In fact, in the case of a person who has oral malignancy, it reduces the risk of oral malignancy or the oral malignancy of the other part of the head. People who stop smoking can also reduce the risk of malignancy of the lung, larynx, pancreas, bladder, and esophagus. Hakika, the stopping of smoking, um, for example, oral cavity cancer, even the lung, the larynx, pancreas, and gallbladder and esophagus all have reduced the occurrence of malignancy in it. Second factor is alcohol. People who drink alcohol are more likely to develop oral malignancy than people who don't drink. The risk increases with the amount of alcohol that a person consumes. The risk increases even more if the person both drink alcohol and use tobacco. حقيقة من حرم الله سبحانه وتعالى التخيير لسبب أسباب من ضمن أسباب صحية واحد من أهم الأسباب المصرطنة هو الكحول. وكما قلنا لكم إذا كان كحول مع توباكو إزداد نسبة الأورن مينيس. The sun. The mainness of the lip can be caused by exposure to the sun. More than 30% of patients with cancer of the lip have outdoor occupation. A shaded prolonged exposure to sunlight. The risk of malignancy of the lip increases if the person also smokes. حقيقة وجود ultra violet light and ray above it هو من أهم الأسباب التي تجعل الأبر اللور لب خاصة اللور لب يتعرض إلى الري أكثر لهذا تكون أكثر أفضل للمنيس إذا كان person يشتغل outdoor and smoke is more liable to منيس Irritation Long term irritation of the lining of mouth caused by poor leaf fitting danger حقيقة الirritation بأسبابه هو أما أما سبابه هو 
الريتين روت اللي يبقى بالاورال كافيتي يسوي لنا الريتيشن للجنجبة للبوكال ميكوزا للابيال ميكوزا هذه اذا بقى فتره طويله ايضا آه الاسباب التي تجعل الاورال ميكوزي از مور دافل كذلك الشارب بريدج شارب كراون اني بروسيسي ذات بوت وذين ذا اورال كافيتي الفيتنج دينشر بارشال كومبليت دينشر كلها مسببات الى الريتيشن اند ليد تو مريونز. The other factors is personal history of head and neck malignancy. People who have had head and neck malignancy are at increased risk of developing another primary head and neck malignancy. Smoking increases this risk. حقيقة اكو اشخاص عندهم قابلية ان يكونون مليونسي اكثر من غيرهم. فاذا كان عنده مليونسي and surgical removal or treated and can uh, return this malignancy in uh, other time. Your nutrition. A diet low fruits and vegetables associated with an increased risk of getting oral malignancy. The consumption of fruit and vegetables reduces the risk for many common cancer. حقيقة الغذاء الصحي أيضا يساعد على تقليل نسبة المالينسي in the oral cavity. لهذا إذا كان إذا لا سمت الفروت أور فيتابول هذا راح تزود نسبة الأورمينسي فحقيقة الفروتس أند فيتابول ذات ريدوس ريسك فور مالينسي إن ماني أريا لايك ماوث فارينكس لارينكس سفيكاس ستومك كولون ركتم لانك كيدني لادر بريست أوفري أونلي فيتابول بروتك هذه هي الأماكن اللي تصير بها قل نسبة المالينسي اللي يأكلون فروت اند فيجيتابل. ماوث واش. سام ستدي هاف سجستد ذات ماوث واش وذ هاي الكوليك كونتنت. حقيقة بما انه موجود الكحول بالماوث واش فلهذا من الحبل انه يكون الماوث واش هو الكحول. اند اذر انتيسبتيك لايك لورهيكسيلين هو افضل من الكحول از ا ماوث واش. فايرال انفكشن. The scientists also are studying whether infection with a certain virus, such as the human papilloma virus, are linked to oral malignancy. حقيقة وجود بعض الفيروسات المهمة, like the mumps, the papilloma virus, the Epstein-Barr virus, and the AIDS, هاي كلها تساعد أن يكون liable for oral malignancy. The immune system suppression, the age. The likelihood of developing oral and oropharyngeal cancer increases with the age, especially after age 35. The gender, oral and oropharyngeal cancer is twice as common in men as in women. The male is more liable to have a malignancy than female. Inherited. The defective DNA repair mechanism as xeroderma pigmentosa, atoxia, elinctasia, Bloom syndrome, Fernica syndrome. هاي كلها أمراض زود نسبة المالينسي لأنه repair of the epithelium or any tissue can not occur in ordinary. فلهذا راح يكون كلش عرضة للمالينسي. وكذا مثل xeroderma pigmentosa. هو ديفكت ان ب53 او ب66 هذه هي تادينا الى سكوينوس كارسينوما ميلانوما ذا اذر تيومر ان ذا بودي اذر فاكتور هيتد تيومر سبريسر جين ب53 ديفكت از لاي فروميني سندرو اند اذر فاكتور ذا ريليشن شيب بين اي بي او بلاد جروب اند اور كانسر The people with group A had 1.046 times higher risk of developing oral cancer as compared to the other blood group. حقيقة ما كل علاقة إنه ما بين AB group and oral cancer. بس شافوا إنه الصنف group A هم أكثر عرضة للأورال كانسر من باقي الأعراض. And the last one, allergies have heightened immunity had 90% of lower human squamous cell carcinoma. حقيقة ال أن الألرجي أيضا هو أكثر عرضة للهيومان سكوينوسيل كارسينوما. And 
the other factor is molecular biology. The cytogenic uh, chromosomes, like uh, uh, chromosomes 3, 5, 8, 8, 11, 17, 18, and the tumor suppressor gene in activation, like P16, P21, P43, uh, and R and uh, RPG, and proto-oncogene gene activation, like saccharin D1 and 3RADD1, and the growth factor receptor overexpression, like EGF. EGFR uh, and TGFA uh, and HER-2 uh, and EU and other factors. These have if other uh, problem may lead to our cancer. The other one of molecular biology like RAS family oncogene, the telomeres, telomeres cell sense, and tumor immunologically immunology rule of TIL. CTL and AL246 and tumor invasion and metastasis in the arterial and the preparation BGE2, TGFP beta, TGF, uh, FJF, and VEGF, and last one MMP. I think that the molecular biology is the most important thing in the world. فأريدكم فقط أن تحفظوها تفهموها وليس تلحظوا. The molecular progression model of human sequential cell carcinoma as a carcinogenesis, the normal sequential uh, mucosa that by EGF and EFR overexpression lead to sequence hyperplasia and the telomerase activation is P16 activation lead to dysplasia and in PRAD1 amplification with 3D defecation and P53 and activation to lead to carcinoma in that tube and if there are any uh, 4Q, 5Q, 8P and 13Q deletion lead to invasive carcinoma. If there are matrix multi-proportionals overexposure lead to metastasis. This figure shows the histopathology of how uh, the beginning uh, uh, of the uh, carcinoma in the oral cavity. We start that increased thickness of keratin layer due to keratosis, and then that have abnormal growth in the inferior layer due to dysplasia, and when invasive, the basal layer will lead to carcinoma. The septum of carcinoma of oral cavity. We have many symptoms depend on the uh, what organ that affect the oral cavity. But in general, we have uh, certain factors, uh, symptoms of the oral cavity. Like first, patch in the mouth uh, that are change in color of the uh, oral cavity mucosa. One, we need that uh, the normal color is pink in color. But when changed to white patch, call it leukoplakia are the most common white patch sometimes become malignant. And if it's mixed red and white patch, erythroleukoplakia are more likely than white patch to become malignant. And the last one, red patch, the erythroleukoplakia are bright colored smooth area that often become malignant. Hi Hakika, change in color of the mucosa, adina in a precancerous and this E2 cancerous lesion. Second symptom, a sore on the mouth that won't heal. There are multiple ulceration or uh, erosion in the ulcer not healed. And then bleeding in the mouth, maybe uh, bleeding in the gingiva, in the floor of mouth and the tongue. That uh, and loss of teeth that lead to have any uh, loss of bony support and due to uh, mobile teeth. Difficulty or pain when swallowing. If there are posterior side malignancy, there are difficult in swallowing. If the shin uh, wear denture, is difficulty to wear in denture. If persistent lump or thickening in the cheek, increased salivation, a lump in the neck or an ear ache, sometimes uh, tumor the pain radiated to the ear. We have more subtum uh, that uh, we uh, discuss it now. 
We have difficulty in chewing or swallowing, difficulty moving the jaw or the tongue, a swelling of the jaw that causes denture to fit poorly or become uncomfortable, losing of the teeth or pain around the teeth or jaw, was change, a lump or mass in the knee, weight loss or resistance bad grief. We divided the septum to early septum and delayed septum. Our late septum. The early septum, the early stage may be painless, especially when they are side toward the back of the oral cavity. حقيقة بداية الأورال كارسينوما هو ليس فيها أي problem only there are any mass or lesion or ulcer in the oral cavity if can see it by the patient can seek management and can easily and good prognosis. The carcinoma of the usually noted by patient as a painless lump or ulcer. The carcinoma of anterior part of mouth may first discovered by the Patients uh, like the anterior part of the tongue or uh, the gingiva and the anterior part that have uh, can see it by the patient and go to seek a treatment. In the posterior part of my mouth, symptoms are usually slight until. Hakira here, muscular in the posterior part of the mouth, the head, many of the I cannot see any lesion. Unless we have lesion has rushed a diameter of 2 to 3 centimeters until it becomes infected when the pain and swelling supervise, which may cause difficulty in repetition, pain and tenderness only to drop when a malignant ulcer becomes secondary infection or if the lesion involves secondary nerve. And lastly, until the tumor has metastasized to the regional lymph node and hard lymph in the neck. Hakika, we will see a third sabba in the world, a small lesion, but if it's a problem, it's a problem, it's وسوي سنسر نير أو صار سكندر إنفكشن أو صار ب ديمتر بري دارس دفتالتي إن إنفكشن أو سوالوين أو دفتالتي إن شوين هاي كلها راح تشوفها ليتر سيج. and this is the other type of septum is late septum. the after period of time خاصة in posterior side of the mouth we have many late septum. First, pain due to secondary infection or involvement of nerve in the lesion, and excessive salivation, difficulty in creation, difficulty in speech, hemorrhage, which usually manifests as blood stained saliva. Hakika hai septum li akhtar shu'a bil oral cavity hiya kun at late time from oral malignancy. This figure shows the clinical and histopathological feature. Of the oral malignancy. The uh, first one is benign squamous hyperplasia. We have normal mucosa and histopathology. And we have start the cyplasia, we have hyperplasia of the epithelium. And we have in carcinoma, in situ, or dysplasia, we have not invade the abnormal tissue, the epithelial base. And we have carcinoma, that means. Carcinoma in situ and uh, can uh, it's the beginning of invasion of the basal cell. And we have carcinoma and dysplasia, we have invaded the uh, basal cells of the oral cavity. Now we start from the nucleasia arising within the bone. The early septum of the central neoplasm. Central sequenous carcinoma, the first painless swelling involves the both labial and lingual palatal sulci. Second, if the teeth are present, they may become loose and painful abscess. Third, if the patient is in shallow previously suspected denture may not longer fit and may be displaced or produced by denture hyperplasia or granulum. And the last thing, a seizure of upper or lower lip in quite common. إذا كان in the side, in the side of the bone, this is many septum. How you can see it by this tumor. And now to go to carcinoma of the lip. The second part we have most important is the lip. There are upper and lower lip, and the lip divided to many parts of it. We start the carcinoma of the vermilion border is the most common in the male between 50 to 70 year old. 
the patient tend to have dirty dental stained teeth. The malignancy arises at site irritation of fracture tooth, hot tobacco may lead irritation and leucoplastic change. The incidence of carcinoma increases in occupation as the patient intense solar radiation when the patient gives a history of blistering gelitis due to sunlight. حتى الأبر and lower lip وخاصة lower lip معرضة إلى توما كل شوية وخاصة إذا كان patient مقبر uh, uh, good oral hygiene حتى راح تكون أكثر عرضة وخاصة إذا صار fracture للأنتيرير تيت راح تسوي continuous irritation ودينا إلى leucoplastic change and دينا إلى carcinoma. The lower lip is affected in 93% and the upper lip 5% and while 2% at the angle of mark in the commission. The sometimes a growth occurs on the upper lip at a point opposite the lower lip due to direct implant of shell. Akhira ila salat the lower lip and the fish cannot seek a treatment may go transfer the malignant cell to the upper lip and the effect of upper lip. The early septum is a small, painless, cropping ulcer if untreated spread to the cheek, gingiva, and jaw. The most lip node affected by metastasis are submental, submedular, and upper jugular group. The fracture diagnosis in four uh, molecular molecular pseudocarcinoma. Here, this is the most important differentiated between the squamous carcinoma and pseudocarcinoma. Here, here in Kunahod deep. Uh, biopsy go to the below the base of the epithelium. Is again an inflammatory cell by a pseudocarcinoma. Is a macro inflammatory cell, mana carcinoma of the lip. And second important part is the tongue. So a carcinoma of the tongue, the anterior to third of the tongue, affect male men nine times than female, while the posterior third affect the sex equally. The age over 16 years. Hakika, the anterior part of the tongue is who extra or the posterior, but the posterior who are hidden, but how the middle is shufa, the anterior, the anterior part who are male extra and female, but the posterior who are equal in male and female. The most etiological factor is the oral hygiene is very bad in patients with carcinoma of the tongue. The disease often associated with heavy drinking of alcohol due to deficiency of vitamin B. One which lead to a precancerous mucosal atrophy. Hakika, the issue of alcohol consumption is very huge. I have said in the low absorption of vitamin B1. Well, the kind of vitamin B1 is very low at the end of the precancerous of mucosal of the tongue. Twenty-five patients have suffered from syphilis and five have had leukoplakia, other precancerous lesion. Hakika. One of the first diagnoses of the ulceration of the tongue was a syphilitic ulceration. Actually, 25 of the cancer were treated syphilitic ulceration, and five is a leukoplakia as a precancerous lesion. Other the first diagnoses that lead to squamous cell carcinoma, superficial glossitis, papilloma, fissure tongue, non-specific ulcer. At uh, about 85, 58% lie near the lateral margin, and 2 to 4% on the dorsum, 7 to 15% on the tip, and the posterior third, 21 to 33%. Other extra or the carcinoma in lateral side, but then to the posterior side of the tongue, or to the tip of the tongue, and uh, the part of the tongue. The appearance of carcinoma in the tongue. We have many uh, uh, appearance, not as uh, ulcer. The one of type of appearance is yeah, ulcerative type, and the uh, growth as papillary type, or flat nodule, or malignant fissure as syphilitic fissure, or cirrhosis or atrophic. Uh, mean that have uh, not any uh, as atrophy of the mucosa and have an amelinacy. The ulcer septum is painless, swelling, or an ulcer. To be dieted as malignancy, we call painless ulcer or mass. When the lesion is established, pain is severe, continuous, and may radiate to the ear. 
and refer pain to a recurrence of problem region. Excessive salivation, fat calves, oris, hemorrhage, and finally immunity of the tongue. هاي حقيقة باي تايم راح تحول من إلى painless swelling إلى chronic pain كانت أثر إنها على lingual nerve uh, or glossopharyngeal nerve and أثر إنها على salivation so more excess salivation وأثر إنها إلى factor oris either a bad odor or may lead to hemorrhage to the facial nerve artery or facial vein and may fix the tongue and difficult in mobility of it the life expectancy of an antiepileptic lesion about six months, which uh, lead to inhalation, bronchopneumonia, cachexia, salivation, hemorrhage, and asphyxia. Hakika, uh, the life of the person by complication of the malignancy, hakika, the respiratory system or atherina as a bleeding and due to asphyxia. Metastases are restricted to the regional gland. Anterior to third metastases are ipsilateral and bilateral if the region extends to the midline of the tongue. حقيقة إذا كان ما بتعدي midline of the tongue هي تكون ipsilateral metastases to the lymph node بس إذا تعدى راح bilateral metastases of the node. The metastases from posterior third are bilateral. حقيقة metastases in posterior third can ref iterate from the center هو كلها bilateral metastases. Thank you for your listening this lecture. Inshallah, we'll complete part two in the next lecture.